very good morning to all of you on the today's uh, discussion we are going to discuss about the basics of the networks the networking what is the term networking called what are the term related to the networking how we prepare the network and what are the key feature of using the best network right so this side ankit vyas and we are going to discuss about the networking we'll start with very basic part of the networking that how networking can be established right what are the way to use the network and what are the different categories of the network and what are the basic key features what are the basic key things which is related to the network we'll also cover up regarding to the host what is host what is workstation what is server what is client and what is nodes so students before starting the session let us discuss about the data first right our main key thing or our main subject or the name of our subject is data communication and networks right so let's start with the data first that what exactly the data is right so students we have three things which is interrelated over here that we have already uh, you know pronounce it as an right that is data communication and networks right so in this subject in this subject that is usually known as in computer network which is basically called data communication and networks so we have to discuss about all these three terms that what exactly the data what exactly the communication and what exactly the networks so let us proceed to the next uh, session as the point is very clear that why there is the why there is a need to prepare the network see what is the requirement the basic requirement is that that we have something which we want to send to the other place without without the standing or without moving there it means with the help of the computer suppose we have some data basically we have some raw facts and figures we have some raw materials basically data is very common data is a you know collection of raw facts and raw materials that has no specific meaning it means that is unspecified it means we can say that 1 2 3 x y z that is some of we have data as it is pictorially uh, represent over the slide that yes see we have some message right it means we have something which we want to you know send somewhere right so see that something must be some messages right so let's suppose we have some messages right that message we want to send from the place it means we have three four things which is works in between right so we will also cover up uh, about these all three four things in detail right but let us uh, have a basic idea that what are those uh, four five things right see we have message it means we have something which we are going to send it right then we have sender sender means somewhere from where we are going to send that particular information right then receiver receiver is something which obtain which receives that particular information that particular data right and see by moving the data from sender to receiver we have medium in between right which just connect uh, the sender to receiver for the direct transmission of that particular data right and there are certain rules and regulations that how data will get flowed within the network that would be known as in protocol fine now let us differentiate that what is data communication basically see as we have two terms one is data and the one is communication communication is something that yes we are going to establish the connection in between that is known as in communication right so transfer of data from one device to another device via some of the transmission medium as as, as i have already told you that there was something in between right which allow us to travel the data right see as simply we are taking our mobile phone example right see that is uh, obviously clear that suppose we are going to just talk with someone else so we have two three basic requirements which is mandatory the first thing is that we have some specific operators right the next thing is that we need that particular person's contact details so that we can directly communicate uh, in between right and the third one is that we have that recharge top up available then only we are able to you know communicate right so as it is clear that we have sender in between we have receiver in between we have medium right that is our sim card right 
and we have certain protocols that yes if there was the mobile balance then only we are able to talk else we are not able to talk with someone else right so that is somehow and the same is being dictated over the uh, definition of the data communication right now the book comes in that yes how to measure that particular thing that yes how data communication can be measured that yes we have send it this much of information and this is some of we have see as we are talking about a human body weight right so that human body weight would be measured in somehow in kilograms that is somehow in uh, you know tons or whatever it is right so if we are talking about the you know data communication or the you know data um, transmission within the network right so that would be you know that would be um, classified or that would be measured uh, with the help of the following key terms so one is the delivery right see delivery must be the correct destination it means that point is clear uh, students we are taking that mobile phone example that is uh, you know flexible to all of us right as if we are going to communicate or if we are going to talk with someone else with the help of the mobile phone right so that mobile number must be appropriate if it is appropriate then only we are able to talk with the desired destination else it is not possible to talk with that particular destination to whom we are going to discuss with right then we have timelines right see definitely we thought that particular establishment or that particular network or that particular connection should be made uh, as per the timeline it means there was no busy schedule there was no network issue that network must be everywhere right something like that then we have accuracy right we thought that yes see if there was the you know if, if there was the gap if we are going to make the call as we generally say is that yes calls are being dropped right or there was some you know kind of you know as uh, suppose we are going to talk with someone so there was some see that particular call would be forwarded to some xyz people right so it must be happen right and that particular jitter jitter means variations in packet arrival right it means there was certain uh, you know uh, basically frequent uh, uh, duration right as a receiver is being receiving the packets right so that particular you know timeline must be as per the you know as per the specific order so that we can obtain that particular uh, packets in the proper manner right so that's all uh, you know represent or how to present that particular data it means we are talking about the format of the data that yes how that would be presented right if you're talking about the you know uh, that the smallest memory measurement unit right so that is simply bit right if you're talking about the numbers right so it might be 8 16 32 bit etc whatever it is right whether it is in floating point it means the data which we are going to send that we are going to transfer within the network that must be some numbers that must be some text right text definitely it includes some ascii values it includes some unicode formats right we have images it means we are also you know able to transfer the images between the network right that might be bit patterns graphics formats jpeg gif you know png right bmp etc right we have audio samples of uh, continuous uh, signal it means if we are talking about the audio right there was the continuous flickering it means between it means there was no cinematic pause or that particular voice or that particular audio would be traveled as per the order whatever is being there or whatever is being specified for that right and we have video right the very important thing that the sequence sequence of the bitmap images it means that direction that movement that everything would be as per the you know as per the happening which is being proceeded within the uh, videos right so that's all students again students uh, i hope you all are enjoying the session right now the very important thing uh, students as i have already told you that you see if you are going to talk with someone so uh, you you do have the sufficient mobile uh, balance in your phone right that is that is somehow rules see operator policies it means if you are following the operator policies then only you are able to make the call now that is very simple it means agar mere, see if if my mobile phone is holding the uh, account balance then only we are able to make the call right so that is known as a protocol right protocol is something uh, see which is uh, specifying a kind of you know rules basically that how communication can be made right
then we have see uh, it it works on uh, certain things right the one is uh, the structure basically structure or format of the data that is known as in syntax right we have semantics semantics is nothing that interpret the meaning of the bits right those which will define what action right that is semantics right and we have timing basically when a data should be sent or what what data need to be sent or when data needs to be sent it on right and then we have a speed at which data should be sent or a speed at which it is being received right so these all uh, things uh, would be included under the protocols so students that graphically how data would be you know how data would be transmitted within the network as we are as we are being as we directly say that the flow basically the flow that how data will get flowed within the network right so we have simplex it means we are also uh, it is also known as been uh, you know modes of the data communication that is how we can transfer the data within the network or what are the various modes basically that is how we how we able to transmit the data within the network right so that is and and it is also known as in data flow techniques right so we have very simple that is known as in simplex right simplex means one direction only right it means we have two computers or we have two devices let's suppose right and on those two devices we are able to see one is able to send the data and another one is able to receive the data right so that is known as in data flow in a simplex manner simplex in the sense that yes see that is very much clear that suppose we are going to type any key or suppose we are going to you know display anything right so that is very clear that yes we have to press that particular key from our keyboard right see after pressing that particular keyboard that keyboard is directly connected with our tower that is known as in cpu right then cpu interpret that as yes, what we have written what we have you know typed right and that would be displayed within the display panel right so this kind of communication is known as in simplex communication i hope you, uh, you guys uh, understood that what are exactly the simplex now we have you know <coughs> half duplex half duplex is very simple students right as we have data right we can also transmit the data or that data would be you know transmitted in both direction both direction means either sender can also send the data either receiver has the same feature same ability that is yes, they can also uh, you know treat it as in sender and uh, if if it is required so they can also work as in receiver right whatever is feasible and the very uh, best example of using this that suppose we have railway track available right see on the railway track uh, we have a track from where the train is generally being moved but yes from a single track or from a you know from some specific track only one train can be traveled at a time at the, whether that particular train is going to the destination or whether some train which comes from some specific source to some destination it means one train can be traveled at a time right that is known as in that is known as in half duplex communication or see we have another example that is generally used in paramilitary forces that is walkie talkies right that generally uh, people they do have right see on the walkie talkies we have uh, a kind of you know access that yes one person can transmit the information at that particular time right other can also transmit but yes both you know both uh, orders must be changed it means suppose somehow one is going to send that particular information at that time so that would be treated as a sender or receiver but parallelly if receiver want to travel receiver want to send some information so at that particular time receiver is treated as a sender right and that particular sender is treated as a receiver i hope you all are enjoying the session right so well we are discussing about the data uh, you know data direction flow that how data will get traveled within the network and we have the last technique on data flow techniques that is full duplex communication full duplex means both direction simultaneously it is it is not mandatory that is yes, uh, only at a time sender can send the receiver uh, sender can send the data and receiver only can receive the data see here we are we are doing the parallel communication it means we have sender we have receiver both are just sharing the resources at a single time only right the very best example of this particular full duplex communication is you know that is 
telephone right can be emulated on a single communication link using various methods right so as it has been already uh, specified from the pictures that yes how data will get flowed within the full duplex communication because we are also discussing about the difference between telecommunication and data communication guys we have two terms one is telephonic communication right and we have data communication right so we are also discussing about the what is the difference in between data communication and the telephonic communication before discussing this we have to you know learn on uh, these few terms which is related right that is uh, we have to discuss about the definition of the network we have to discuss about the criteria that yes what are the you know desired criteria that would be uh, you know that must be there for the network or that must be there for establishing the network right and we need to know about the physical structure of the network that yes how physically it would be you know attached or it would be connected within the network right and we are also discussing about the categories different categories of the network so let us start with the network uh, definition right in a simple word see network is a set of devices often referred to as a nodes concerned by the communication links it means see where we can establish the network see uh, we can establish the network uh, if somewhere we have some connectivity basically right connectivity in the sense that yes see we are able to transmit the data suppose we have some physical connection suppose we have some wired connection suppose we have some logical connection it means suppose uh, as i'm i'm speaking and you guys are listening right so we have we have medium in between it means you guys have ears so that we are you are able you are able to you know listen as that what i am going to say and i am having tongue i am having mouth so that i am able to speak and you guys are listening it properly right so there was some channel in between then only we are able to establish the network or network is something that yes we are connecting set of devices or multiple devices right and that is being connected uh, uh, with the help of some certain links basically right so that would be known as a network let us understand the purpose of using the network see the purpose of a network uh, is generally to share the resources it means suppose we have multiple computers suppose we have multiple employees in a company right and we have certain uh, devices let's suppose we have certain uh printers basically we have three four printers for 500 users right so we are going to share that particular printer with those all um, 500 users so that so all of them can smoothly take their print out right we have certain thing we have certain files and folder available right and we are going to share that particular file or folder with all the users so that is also quite possible with the help of the network it means there was a chain in between there was some connectivity in between there was some physical or logical connection connection in between then only we are able to share the resources right especially we are just if we are preparing any uh, network right so for that we have certain rules and regulations for that we have certain policies are there right so that is somehow uh, meet on the following criteria so one is the performance another one is the reliability we have to see that uh, yes how how faster the network is that is performance called uh, we have then we have reliable right how handy it is that is very important to students it means it must not be critical that yes users will get confused that here where should uh, i enter from where i should move right and we have scalability scalability uh, in the sense of students as i have already told you that yes that particular you know transaction must be done in a continuous manner so that we can easily able to find identify that yes this particular packet is being traveled within the network right so that is known as an scalability now let us talk about the performance right performance also uh, conclude the following key parameters that yes transit time response time it means how long that particular data will get transmitted right that how much time it is being taking while that is being transmitted right and response it means after this much of time period that particular data is providing us an a response right so that is known as an response right 
so the detailed description i have already i have already mentioned in my own wording right so if you have any kind of confusion so you feel free to let me know we will surely help you out on it let us talk about people analytics as i have already told you that yes that the frequency at which network failures take place as i have already told you that must be reliable that yes as i've already told you that how smoother our network is see we generally are saying generally we are saying that yes initially when geo has been launched so it is providing us the better communication feature we are you know we are easily able to talk with each other we are we are having good internet access but nowadays that geo's speed is blunder right we are not able to get that much of data speed or somehow the call dropping was there right so that is somehow related to the reliability right we have security right security is nothing but yes the protection of data from the unauthorized user or access it means we have uh, that particular uh, you know intimation uh, within the network that suppose someone is going to hack our data someone is going to obtain our data so we can easily access that that yes who is going to hack or who is going to obtain it right that must be it means our data transmission must be secure that is also being you know identified very important thing that yes which network should i buy or which network should i use right the properties of the good network right the very first thing is interpersonal communication we have resources that must be shared easily and we have data and file that can be shared easily it means we have these three key terminologies which is uh, which is being or which must be required for a smooth or fast network right it means interpersonal communication it means we can communicate with each other efficiently and easily example a email chat rooms video conferencing etc right resources can be shared it means suppose we are going to share something right we are going to share our desktop right so that would be also possible we have lots of uh, solutions available right we have sharing of resources sharing of data sharing of files sharing of some images sharing of videos whatever it is that we can smoothly transmit very important point that yes we have uh, different types of the connections first is point to point that is also known as a dedicated link and we have multi point that is also known as time shared it means shares a single link it means we have you know one to one communication or we have uh you know one to many communication it means we have single resource and that single resource we are going to share with all the other uh, users end users and they all are obtaining that particular users that particular uh, you know resource easily right so that is known as in multi point and this feature you know this particular figure is uh, also showing that yes how data will get you know transmit or how data will get traveled in point to point connection as we have you know one to one communication from one system to other system right that is also known as in point to point connection i hope you all understand uh, by showing this particular figure now students see let us see how multi point connection can be worked a multi point means we have multiple chains we have multiple systems available right and those all multiple systems are connected uh, with you know uh, with a single network as we have said that yes we have two computer and we are going to connect those two computers with each other so that is a kind of communication which is known as in point to point computer point to point connection or we have two computers we have two devices we have any anything which is to our we are going to uh, you know connected with each other right and multi point connection is somehow we called it as an you know Uh, that we have multiple devices or we have more than two units right and we are going to integrate those two units whether that is wired whether that is wireless whatever it is right whether that is computer printers or some other peripherals whatever it is right we are going to connect it so that would be uh, considered as an uh, under the multi point connections what are the advantages of using networking right we have connectivity and communication that we can easily made it right that is data sharing we have we have hardware sharing we have internet access that we can easily access the internet we have internet access sharing we have data security and management and we have entertainment that it means we can perform all these uh, activities or not only these activities we have more than so many things that we can perform with the help of the uh, you know use or by using the network 
declared students that is very much clear that yes everything some ha everything have certain advantages so definitely they have certain drawbacks as well as okay we have if we are talking about the disadvantages it means we need to purchase we need to buy a costly hardware costly network hardware right software and setup cost as well hardware and software management and administration cost it means we need to hire some you know professional uh, administrator who can easily handle the network right uh, we need to uh, we have undesirable uh, sharing we have illegal and un undesirable behavior we have data security and concern so uh, we have so many advantages or we have so many disadvantages of using networking let us talk about the different categories or different types of the network we have local area network we have wide area network we have metropolitan area network uh, local area network as lan is very common to all of us that yes if we are talking about the lan it means we have something which is available on the local area on some specified area on some office area on some campus area and we are going to share the resources on that particular campus the campuses right so that is possible with the help of the local area network it means in a computer networking computers uh, it cover the small geographical area like home offices group or buildings that i have already you know explored to you uh, in the figures right so better uh, you just go through the figures so that you can easily understand that yes what lane exactly is we have wide area network wide area is nothing but here yeah, that covers that contains that conclude the you know wide range of the area wide range of the network so that we can you know we can have that uh, resources or that particular data which we can share uh, about the world wide web it means the best example of wide area network is an internet right network providing long distance of communication over a country over a continent over a world wide web the best example of wide area network is the internet right as we are accessing the internet because we have a wide area network available it means widely it means uh, uh till the continent if you're talking about that we can able to we are able to connect the systems right so that is quite possible with the help of the wide area network now the very important thing that yes suppose we have certain cities suppose we are going to connect some cities suppose we are going to connect some you know some uh, some distances basically some specified uh, distances right so how that is possible so that is possible that is quite possible with the help of the metropolitan area network right network extended over the entire city right as we have certain as uh, there are two cities uh, is being specified within the um, uh, figure right so if we are going to connect it so that is being possible with the help of the metropolitan area network now the very important point is that yes what is host what is workstation what is server what is client what is node see host is nothing but yes a network host is a computer or other devices connected to a computer network right a network host may offer some information resources services and applications to users or other nodes onto the network right then we have workstation a workstation is a special computer designed for a technical specification application intended primarily to use one person at a time they are commonly connected to a local area network and run multiple users or run multi-user operating system right so that is known as an workstation then we have server basically server as name suggests the student what is the server server is something which is generally providing us the services services are nothing but yes we have some access we have some you know printer access we have some internet access we have some some file access whatever it is that is being facilitated with the help of the server and the computer which provide all these services is known as a server computer right and client client is nothing but yes the end user basically the end user or the computer or the system which is being accessing the services which server facilitate us that is being uh, accessed uh, with the help of the client systems okay thank you so much for watching it was uh, nice to uh, present the uh,
presentation in front of you. Thanks for watching. And again, this side Ankit Vyas, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science at YMT Rishikesh, Uttarakhand. Thank you.